and I was kind of reflecting back a little bit on what it was like before. And the word that kept came to mind was it hard. <laughs> it was just really, really hard. Um, and I was confused about a lot of things. I'd, oh, I didn't. <sighs> I found, I found decisions difficult. I found taking responsibility difficult. I was completely locked into a kind of an identity and couldn't accept when that identity changed and my circumstances changed. And then when I met the training, I was really running around chasing circumstances, chasing circumstances to make me feel better. Um, I met the training in Goa in 2011 and I did the training and then I still had all these ideas about what I wanted my life to look like so I went and did that for, for a bit longer until my uh, 35th birthday hit and I came up against this data that I didn't know what to do with and my wonderful trainer supported me while I was out in, in Thailand working and really trying to create these beautiful circumstances around me but still feeling completely miserable and lost and, yeah. Um, so when I, was, when I was out in Thailand, I made this uh, commitment to move to Bristol and be with community for a year. I gave myself that, that year. And that's been, that's been amazing. It's been everything. So much has come up and so much has been beautiful and challenging and everything. Um, yeah, I'm so grateful to the community there. Such amazing examples of what we can all do together and how much we can give. It's just, I've, I've opened up slowly, slowly to give more and more to, in service to that community. And being here at the centre this time is just, it's been amazing. I'm, again, it's been everything. And it's been so normalising to not, to not think that open intelligence looks a certain way and to not be chasing the really high data, um, getting really comfortable in the discomfort and seeing that even with all the data about wanting to leave, wanting to run away, all sorts of stuff. I'm still stepping up and I'm still able to be totally respectful. And um, I've seen, I've, I've had the really, oh, I've, I've just had the great fortune to, to do, to be in the baking team for this service. And that has been, that's just been great to, um, to see that, that I can find ease and solutions within something that I still find very challenging and I can be much much bigger than I than I think I than I ever thought I could be and I can contribute um just want to say one one last thing um I've been carrying around this piece of paper in my back pocket trying to write down my list of 10 things that I love to do um, and it's been it's been really effortful. Like I've been like, what do I love to do? And like nothing's coming, nothing's coming. And yesterday, <laughs> during the talk, during the open meeting, just hearing again this of benefit, somehow it landed, and I saw the whole thing in a completely new light. And that's that's really exciting. I don't know what it looks like. I have no idea what that's going to be. But that's a, a so much more of an exciting place to live from.